Hi everyone, this is Mike, so for uh, Maker Generation. So we're going to talk about STEM, you know, as usual, this, this um, channel is dedicated to STEM. Uh, we could go in on the project we already started. Uh, this project is a water, automatic watering system. So it's made with a um, BBC Microbit V2. So this is the project we could do in today. So this project is, uh, we, in it we have um, BBC Microbit, we have a humidity sensor, and we have a water pump. So when we, we uh, add a certain threshold um, of the humidity in the soil for the plant we are trying to, um, to put water on, the water pump will uh, be triggered uh, by itself. In our case, it's, it's 700 because uh, I noticed that when I, um, the, um, the soil is really dry, we are, about, we are around a thousand. So these are just numbers that I, I, I've tested myself. So usually the, the range is between zero and 1024 because it's, a, it's an analog, um, analog values. All right, to get started, let's go here. So you go to Google, you type BBC Microbit V2. It will bring us here. You type on this one, meet the new BBC or kind of maybe this one, but yeah. Because we got a new board, I was not aware of that, so it seems to have a new speaker and microphone. So you can you can go and check it out if you want to buy one. So good do new testing, new projects, that's a good way to go. So here we go to Let's Code. Alright. So we, you can code that board with Python and other the type of way, but uh, we, we use blocks. So we, we type on make make code editor and here you type on new project so you i call it automatic watering system that's how it goes and i click on create all right so it comes with two blocks here uh on my side i want to use um project so it's going to be testing so when I push the, um, you have um, two buttons on, on the board, so you can see here A and B. So I'll say when I, when I press A, I want it to, um, to read the value on the immediate sensor. The immediate sensor will be connected here on zero. And if it's superior to 700, uh, I want it to show what the, the humidity sensor is and wait for, for two seconds and after that, uh, drive on the um, the motor. The motor will be connected on on pin P1. So I, I have done all that as well in other part uh, in other video. So you can see that. But this this video is going to be uh, for the road project. I did I did different video before how to control the motor, how to control the humidity sensor. Here we put we plug in the motor and the humidity sensor all together, and to to finalize the whole project. All right, this is how it gets started. All right, so we go here to input. And we get this block on button A pressed. This we don't need this. On button A pressed. And we're gonna see, we're gonna have a condition if the value um, where we read on the humidity sensor is superior to 700. So for the condition, we need to go to uh, loops, if I'm correct. Uh, not loops, maybe. Uh, logic. I think it's logic. Yeah, logic. Alright, I take this one, logic, and I put it here. All right, and from there uh, we go to math. I explain you why. Math. Um, let me see. Uh, we get this one math or oh, logic. Logic. I'm sorry. Logic. All right. Take this one and I put it here. So we want to superior, so we should superior. So if the value that we read, so we need to go to advance and go to pins. So we want to read the value on P0. So it's going to be analog, analog read. So we get this one. So if the value is superior, if value here is superior to 700, we want to show the value that is written. All right, so we go to here. Show, show something, show string. All right, so we want, we want this so I can duplicate. 
and I put it here. Show show that value. Let's say for two seconds. So we go here and we say pause two seconds. Pause for two seconds. All right. So if the value is superior to 700, we're going to show the value of the humidity sensor for two seconds. And after that, so meaning it's dry, so we need to pour water on it. So what we do, we go back to um, pins, and now we activate the the motor. The motor is connected on pin P1 on one, and you use the um, we use the digital value for that zero or one. So it's gonna be full, full, full max. All right, get that. Get the right pin zero. So it depends here. For me, it was working on pin zero. Usually, usually, it should be one, but for me, it was it was working at, at at zero. So you can try it with your model and see um, maybe maybe the connection. I mean, you need to to reverse it, but you, you can you can give it a try. So from there, we are here we're gonna make it work for pull water for two seconds. Let's duplicate. There we go. Let's put that here. Let me put that here. So we're going to make it uh, pour water for um, for two seconds. That's how it goes. All right. And after two seconds, we need to turn it off. Click on duplicate here and put it at one. All right. So it pour the water. So we may need to leave it some, give it some time to. Um, to let the water get into the soil, so let's do that. So let's let's put it maybe at um, ten seconds. All right, ten seconds. Let me put ten thousand. All right, there we go. So we may need to wait for ten seconds, and um, so we're gonna wait a little bit. So after that, we, we kind of get out the loop, and. We can say, um, oh, we can stay in it. So that's, that's that's not the problem. We can stay in it. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna say, uh, show string. Gonna get this one duplicate. Um, oh, I'm sorry. All right. We're gonna show the value uh, for like uh, two seconds. seconds all right so that's this is what this is how it's going to be done all right so if you if you understand the whole block here so if we have a value superior to 700 meaning it's dry so we're going to show the value so we wait for two seconds so time for it to, to show you the value and after that if you write um digital pin at zero we wait two seconds so meaning we pull water for two seconds after that we turn it off we wait for 10 seconds time for the water get into the soil and after that um, we show the value for for the for the for the soil the humidity for the soil and we wait two seconds for time to show it and in more it's it's more or less done and after that you know and we can try it again we can press button a so that time you know i think it's gonna be um inferior to 700 maybe like five four hundred so you're gonna see the video i, I made for that and at that time you just, you just want to say uh, show string duplicate here. You can write down it's not dry. It's not dry. That's how it goes. All right, and you can say okay. Let me show the value. It's not dry. Let me show the value of duplicate. All right, there we go. So it's not dry. That's how it goes. So that's the whole project for for all of this uh, to have the, the watering system uh, get to work. So but here we just want we're gonna work when we press button A. And sometimes you know um, it's working, but we want to stop it. So something that we can do, uh, we have two buttons. We have button B. Let's say okay, uh, we go to input. I want to press button B. I want it to stop. All right. So this is how it goes. And I go back to um, show string. 
Can you like stop motor? Oh, there we go. Stop motor. Stop the motor. Alright. And we'll go back to uh, pin. G to right. Pin P1. Hey, yes. I forget about that thing. So for me, it works one for one. May, may be working at, at zero for you. So we forgot something, guys. Um, it works with pin one, P1 for the motor. Don't forget that. So P0 for the humidity sensor, and one for the for to control the motor. All right. Let's make sure that we we have that right. All right. This is this is how it works. And um, from there, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do the testing with the all the old project. All right. That's the next that's the next part of the video. All right. All right, guys. Let's let's get started. So this is the automatic watering system that we have. Here we have the um, the humidity sensor here. Here we have the the water pump, and here we have the BBC microbit board. Uh, we have the code on it, and here we have the relay to to um to activate the pump. So how, this is how the code goes on. So um I put a threshold on on it. So um from like seven hundred till um. 1024 so that's uh, an analog um, value uh, is dry here so I put a threshold if the, the value is superior to 700 it activate the pump so we'll activate the pump for a couple of seconds it will wait so not from time for the water to, to kind of um, go through all the, the soil and after that you're gonna take uh, another value um, of the humidity in the soil and from there we're gonna see if we activate or not uh, the pump one more time. So how, how 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 does that work? So I need to push the button here, push the button A. When I push button A, it will start. Um, it start by reading um, the value, and it will activate the pump if uh, the value is is um, is superior to 700. So let's click here. So it's at 810. All right. So you should activate the pump. So here we go. Let me put it on on this. So for two seconds. So now uh, it's gonna wait a, a little bit. Now, so like uh, this is how it goes. So we need to wait a little. So I put ten seconds, maybe a little bit more than ten seconds. Um, now it's going to read it now. I think. Let's see. <laughs> So it's at 426 now. So it shouldn't it shouldn't start um, again. All right. So we wait a little bit. So when I push the button, ah, this is how it works. I need to push the button. It will it will done. It will do everything uh, it has just done. But if the value is superior to 700, but it was at 420 something, so now it should not work now. All right. All right. So when I click on it, it just go to the second. A part of, of my loop so it just show 459 so um, it was effective so it worked it works so um, that's how I go guys all right so I hope you appreciate the video appreciated the video so uh, if you like it leave a comment for me give it a like and share the video with uh, um, we find it interesting and uh, don't forget to sub subscribe to the channel thank you very much all right peace